Hey there, and welcome to this video series where we will be building a simple Laravel web application. And um, they just released a new Laravel 8 version. So if we have a look at the website for Laravel, and we can see that uh, it says it is the PHP framework for web artisans. So it is a PHP based framework and one of the popular PHP frameworks. And uh, if you search for uh, Laravel 8, you will be taken to this page here where we can see the different versions of Laravel. So it's a rather new uh, version we're going to use here, so it's going to be really cool. Uh, what are we going to build? Um, we're going to be building a really simple CRUD application so we can see how a, a popular PHP web application framework works and how easy it is to make a CRUD application where we have some domain object and in this case it is products. And um, one thing more to note is that uh, Laravel is also an example of a an opinionated framework and you can basically group these frameworks into uh, different boxes, uh, whether they are opinionated or unopinionated. And what does that mean? Well, basically, opinionated means that the framework will guide you regarding the best practices, uh, or the architecture, the directory structure, and all that. So we can see Angular and Django and Laravel are op opinionated, among other. And React and Express.js and Node.js are unopinionated. And just really briefly, if we take a look at the pros of this, uh, we have defined all the uh, the best practices, uh, the architecture, the structure, and the framework designers have built a happy path that should make the development easier and faster. And we also have uh, more libraries and functionality out of the box. So that is good. So hopefully we can see this one Laravel in the test application. Uh, the disadvantages, if, there, if you could uh, call it this, is that if we want to go outside of the framework, if we want to uh, do something that is unusual regarding the framework that is outside the scope, it will usually require some extra effort to make this work. And another thing is that it is um, a larger framework than if we take Express.js. And we probably also need to do some optimization caching to get a decent performance uh, out of this framework. But um, we have this really simple application here, and this is what we're going to build. And just really quickly how it works, if we uh, click on this create new product, uh, we can see that we're taking to this uh, create route here, where we can create a product one. Let's just have a look at this. I'm just going to copy this one here so we can reuse it. And we're going to submit it, and we can see product created successfully. Then we have uh, buttons for showing the product. That's all cool there. Edit the product if we want to make modifications to that. And we can also delete it. And if we make a couple of products here, whoop, like this, we can see we have. Uh, couple of products here. Uh, some of the things that are cool about Laravel that we get out of the box is we will have pagination. Now I have three products. And let's just uh, get this one here. And the last one. So we can see that, if we zoom out a bit on this here, that now we have uh, five, five products or six products, and uh, we can see that Laravel will automatically make a pagination feature in this here. So that is all nice, and we can uh, work on all the, uh, the products. I can, if I want to remove this uh, duplicate five here, I can delete it. So now we don't have the pagination anymore, and I can also edit it if I want to update it. So we can see it's been updated. We can also delete them. We can clear the database of products. Cool. So this is basically how it works. And uh, this is the framework from within Visual Studio Code. 
and you can see we already have a lot of di directories and folders that contain a lot of different stuff and um, this is part of being opinionated usually that it we have already been guided towards a structure so we have a lot of different folders that we can work on um, that should be the best practice for this okay but this is what we're going to be building and uh, so stay tuned for the next video where we will start to actually code it right thanks for watching bye bye